Canadian soccer star Alfonso Davies is celebrating a dream come true. He helped Bayern Munich clean up and become the best team in Europe for a sixth time, winning the Champions League yesterday. Davies, who came to Canada as a young refugee, is only 19. And as Redmond Shannon reports, he's already attained a lifetime of achievements. In soccer, arguably only the World Cup is bigger than the UEFA Champions League. And now, a Canadian international has his hands on the trophy, 19-year-old Alfonso Davies. Only one other Canadian man has won the Champions League, but Owen Hargreaves opted to play for England. Edmonton-raised Davies has been a central part of Bayern Munich's winning team. The pandemic meant this year's tournament ended three months late inside an empty stadium. But the noisy celebrations ran long into the Lisbon night. Crowned with an official recognition of Canadian sports stardom. Drake, you follow me? Oh my God, yeah, yes, an Instagram follow from Drake. My goal is to play to reach professional level. Davies and his family moved to Canada as Liberian refugees when he was five, and it wasn't long before his natural talent was turning the heads of coaches. He still calls me coach to this day, even though I'm not his coach. He had a glow about him. He had, um, obviously, performance on the field, but you can tell that there was just something special, something that I haven't seen before uh, from a kid that age. At just 15, he was part of the Vancouver Whitecaps team in the MLS before becoming the most expensive trade in Major League history when he was snapped up by German giants Bayern Munich. We watched the whole game we had on the big screen in our meal room and everyone was in there supporting him and yeah, it was a good experience. You bet it was. Davies' victory on Sunday earned the Whitecaps an extra $1.5 million in trade bonuses. And this week might get even better for Davies. His Canadian girlfriend, Jordan Heidema, could win the Women's Champions League with Paris. She plays in her semi-final on Wednesday. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.